I get that I just have organs, but bloating sucks. And I'm trying to be healthy, but honestly, I eat late at night, like way too often, which really messes with your digestion because when you go to bed, your metabolism slows down. And so the food doesn't get broken down quite properly. It's when your stomach feels puffy, especially early in the morning or when you feel uncomfortably full, even though you haven't eaten much. It can also show up as frequent gas and belching and just feeling sluggish and heavy. Studies say that up to 30% of adults regularly deal with it. Luckily, being from India has its perks because there's a remedy for pretty much everything in the kitchen. Everyone's body is different, so even though so many people swear by this drink, I don't know if it'll work or if I even get very bloated. So I am excited because I get to run this experiment on myself, which means results specific to me. And I love using the scientific method on just like everyday, immediately applicable stuff. I'm hoping that this gives you all a guide for how to experiment and mess around and use the scientific method to do just that. If there's anything else that you want me to experiment with, feel free to comment it below. The idea here is straightforward. Homeostasis, this is not for you. These are all ingredients that have been traditionally used to support gut health and aid digestion. Ginger has been shown to help soothe the stomach and also reduce nausea and bloating. These are Meyer lemons from my boss's tree, so they're very, very fresh and very fragrant. And obviously they have, you know, a very refreshing tang, but they also will have vitamin C and citric acid, which can help stimulate your digestive enzymes, or sorry, stimulate your digestive enzymes. My boss is so sweet, because in addition to these lemons, she also gave me some eggs that I'm gonna use to turn into healthy brownies for mahjong night later. Raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar has acetic acid and also like enzymes and beneficial bacteria in the form of like the mother, which is all the like clunky, goopy stuff you see at the bottom. And all of that is thought to help with digestion, but evidence is still emerging on that. I wanted to try and find fennel, but all they had was sweet anise, which is similar enough, both have been used in herbal medicine for its carminative properties, meaning it may help relax the digestive tract and ease gas and bloating. And then turmeric is like the hot ingredient right now for anti-inflammation, but I'm Indian. We've known about turmeric for so long. I'm glad to see the rest of the world finally catching up with like golden milk and whatever. The anti-inflammatory effects come from curcumin, and this is also really good to use just all over your body, including your face and everything. And and then I've also been soaking these chia seeds just to get like a little bit extra fiber and they'll help with digestion and promote satiety. Satiety? I never know if I'm pronouncing that right. Any bit of black pepper because it's supposed to help your body absorb too. Some of the lemon juice definitely got into the chia seeds, but I don't have a juicer, so this is a lot messier than I would like, but I don't think it'll matter too much because the scaling of all these ingredients doesn't matter too much. I definitely have a little bit more fennel, so I might be strong on that, but ultimately we just want all these ingredients mix and match to your heart's desire. I mean, your tongue's taste, I guess. I don't have a juicer, so I'm gonna get the benefits of the ginger, turmeric, and anise by just simmering it on low heat for 15 minutes. I love how aesthetic the trays are that the ice influencers use, but I had these already, so that's what we're using. I didn't really measure exactly how much is going into every single cube, because even though you can, that would just take so much time. So I'll say I have approximately a little bit over half a tablespoon in each of these. And as cute as it was to have all the chia seeds at the bottom, I think it'll be a little bit easier to mix into water in the morning if it's a little bit more spread out. All right, now for the ACB, going from the bottom to try and get any of the mother bacteria that might have settled at the bottom. All right, here are our finished cubes. They're not aesthetic, but they're realistic. How long it'll really take depends on the individual person. Because gut health and bloating have so many causes like diet, stress, hormones. I'm kind of hoping that I get the effects right away. We'll see. And since you definitely need to be consistent with it, I will be consistent with it. Some places are saying it might take a few weeks to notice a difference. I don't want to run an experiment for that long, so we'll see what the results say.
I realized that I have made an error in my scientific calculations, which is that I've been measuring myself before doing the juice and not after. So moving forward, we need to measure both times. Cheers. How was your CEO meeting? He really needed last week. I don't know. Enjoys this so much yeah. that he just. It's now been a full week since I started this experiment and I kind of expected there to be more results. At the start of this, I couldn't exactly tell when I was bloated, and even now I can't tell, or maybe I just don't have enough bloating. But I kind of feel like everyone bloats, like isn't that normal? The numbers are saying that I'm less bloated, but like a centimeter's not a lot, and I feel like that could also just be... any number of other factors. I may as well do 10 just to like, really let this sink in. I ate a lot last night, so I am definitely bloated today. Day 10. I'm really glad that I tried this, and I'm also very, very, very glad that I tracked everything like so meticulously because I don't know if this would have worked otherwise. So after getting all the results, I loaded it up into Python to make a graph, and then I think the change in the measurements is more important than the exact measurements, so I calculated that as well. And honestly, this was really disappointing. Like, the results were really inconsistent. I expected some of that at like the start of the experiment while my gut kind of got used to the drink, but I didn't expect inconsistency throughout the entire thing. And on top of that, there's no like dramatic reduction. Like it doesn't even come close to my expectations. And honestly, the thing that's the most disappointing to me is the fact that the science behind every ingredient is solid. That just makes it even more confusing as to why I didn't get the results that I wanted. Um, I don't know. I did try and write down some potential reasons for these inconsistent results. Um, first of all, maybe it's just not strong enough. Maybe the tonic wasn't potent enough in some of the ingredients to have a noticeable effect. It's possible that there were measurement errors. It's really hard to measure like precisely the same spots every single time. Like my butt measurement shouldn't have been changing and the fact that it did tells me that there's some human error in this. Editing Niba here. Okay, I realized that maybe I should have done things that specifically bloated me and then tried the juice after to see if it would change anything but that doesn't seem very healthy and even on the day that I was like visibly bloated from eating a lot the night before my stomach only went down like a teeny tiny little bit is that all this juice gives the other possibility is just maybe I wasn't that bloated to begin with so there wasn't really a huge difference to be had bloating can come from so many factors like your sleep schedule and your stress and your hormones and your diet so this is just one variable and I'm trying to isolate it might be a little bit too tricky. Daily factors like hydration, salt intake, or sleep quality that can overshadow like small changes in bloating. My sleep has definitely been going through some different changes in these past 10 days. The last possibility I can think of is that maybe it was just too short a time span. Like maybe instead of 10 days, it needs to be like 28 or something like that. Ultimately, it's not an instant solution and I need to be okay with that. Um, the science is sound though. So for people who regularly deal with bloating, it's possible that sticking to like a consistent routine with this tonic might help over time, especially if you pair it with like balanced meals and like enough water and regular movement and all that good stuff. If you've stuck around this long, hey, 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 my name is Neba and these were all my notes on this anti-bloating juice experiment. Even though the results weren't what I was hoping for, at least I can refer back to this data and it has a good foundation for the next experiment. And more importantly, at least now I know the effect that this has on me. If you have any ideas for what I should test next, feel free to let me know in the comments below and I'll see you on the next page.